at 5.30, a man thought he bought an iPad from a local Walmart, but was surprised when he saw what he got instead. He told our John Thomas it wasn't just the mix-up, but the surprising response he got from the store that got him mad enough to post a YouTube video about it. When I looked at it this morning, it's upwards of 500,000. Right, it, it went crazy. What went crazy, or I should say viral, was this YouTube video born out of frustration by Jonathan Thomas. $299. Purchased it on December 14th. Here's what happened. Jonathan says he bought what he thought was an iPad mini from this Walmart in Lakeland. But when he got home and opened it up, two books were inside instead of an iPad. Two ledger books. So he packed it up right away and rushed back here to talk to the manager. But the manager wasn't buying his story at all. So this is completely frustrating now. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm like at a 10. I'm thinking in the back of my mind, if I let my temper go, I'm going to jail. Instead of jail time, he decided on FaceTime and posted this video detailing what he says happened on his YouTube channel, Vapor Stars, a channel where he talks about electronic cigarettes. Well, next thing he knows, it's on fire. Within like an eight hour span, we went from like 20 grand to like 500 grand this morning. That many views must have caught the attention of Walmart because when the smoke cleared, that same manager called him last night and gave him a new iPad. It feels good to know that I stayed calm and I stayed focused and this is the way I decided to go and it worked out. So here's the kicker to this story. I actually talked to Walmart corporate and they said they've already started looking into this and they discovered that the uh, iPad that uh, Jonathan bought here at this Walmart was actually purchased a few days before at another Walmart at two o'clock in the morning and then returned back here. So now they're working with law enforcement to try and find out who is the person that really started all this. So there could be a part two to this story. In Lakeland, John Thomas,